Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look at the uh, market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Wednesday, January tw 22nd, 2014. Definitely biased a little bit here to the downside from our signals on the um, on the NASDAQ patch. A lot of volume here in uh, in some of these names, real big volume. Uh, unfortunately, most of it's actually uh, uh, more more distribution than than uh, than, uh, than consumption at this point. You see that we've got uh, most of the stocks that have volume bumps are uh, showing themselves below the day's open. Biogen's pretty strong here, three percent above the day's open, but that one's actually f flirting with the downside RPS signal. It's really just going to depend on where that one closes. Um, other deviations, we've got uh, Win is about 2% below the day's open, coming off of uh, range high. Definitely keep that one, uh, keep that, keep that one on the radar. We we're just talking about that one in the um, in the trading lab. That's 32 days up now in a row. Pretty impressive, at least for using our four four bar look back methodology. Moving on to the, uh, to the to the financials, definitely bias to the downside here. Right now, there's an absence of any buys. You can see the volume bumps here. Uh, a lot of these are pretty significant. We've got uh, ICE ICE with a uh, volume bump and also a downside indication. We've got a downside CPA CPS condition in MetLife and a volume bump. We've got a volume bump also in uh, U.S. Bank Corp. and a uh, contra candle on that. So definitely keep that one on the uh, on the list for tomorrow. As far as the energies go, um, not certainly not as decisive as the uh, as the financials, but definitely to the downside here. Now uh, we do have one downside CPS condition that was in ACI. The rest of them are the contra candles, where it's up on the day but clo but uh, closing below the day's open. Got a volume bump in Schlumberger SLB, and that one's on a contra candle. That's going to going to be on my list for tomorrow. The one that's trading pretty well to the upside is CHK, two percent above the day's open on pretty pretty substantial volume. As far as the generals go here, definitely don't have that definitive uh, definitive move. Dow Chemical trading really good volume. Best Buy good volume. A lot of volume bumps here. Uh, Pfizer is uh, trading some pretty solid volume with a contra candle to the downside. VMware, VMW, uh, keep an eye on this one. This one's got a downside CPS on some decent decent uh, on some decent uh, volume. Uh, that's probably going to trade definitely off of uh, the IBM earnings. So uh, keep an eye on that after the bell. Take a look at the housing names. Uh, a couple of volume bumps. Uh, we've got one in Home Depot, and that one's trading to the downside. Lowe's is trading to the upside, but uh, Home Depot is more, down more than Lowe's is up, so that's probably a negative. NVR has a downside contra candle. Transportation is still, still pretty sloppy here. Uh, CSX has a downside CPS, and so does UPS. UPS is on volume, so keep that on the radar for tomorrow. And lastly, the commodities. Uh, I'm starting to see a little bidding interest here. We've got some upside CPS conditions in some of the precious metals names. We've got one in ABX. That's 2.5% above the day's open on a volume bump. We've got one in ACH and silver Wheaton as well. FCX has an R uh, upside RPS, as does uh, uh, U.S. Steel letter X. So definitely a couple things to keep in, keep in mind there, and don't write off the... Uh, the uh, precious metal stuff on the long side of the market, especially if we do pick up some speed to the downside later this week. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.